with my next video. And it's about the love of my life. If this was a man, if Coconut Oil was a man, please believe I'd be married with kids right now because I love this thing. Like, I love it. I, oh. Anyway, this is the Red Wood Caring for All Naturally Virgin Cold Pressed Organic Coconut Oil. Doesn't that just make you happy as a natural when you hear virgin organic cold press doesn't it just make you feel happy yes so this is 100 percent coconut oil now the first coconut oil that i ever used was called kcp coconut oil i think it was and i bought it from a butcher's i don't know how you guys how your butchers wherever you're from set out their shop but in the uk you'll have your butchers you'll have your meat section your veggie and fruit section your peas and all of that and then you'll have like a whole wall full of oils sunflower oil castor oil coconut oil oil and that is the first place i bought coconut oil from uh, the, and i paid two pounds something for it the reason why i don't mind paying eight pounds something for this is because i don't know whether that was authentic coconut oil the ingredients said 100 percent coconut oil i've never heard of kcp the label doesn't really look like this. It didn't have organic or cold press or virgin coconut oil or anything written on it. So I just don't know if it was authentic. So I wanted to, to try a brand that I knew would be authentic. The, the brand of coconut oil that I tried after that was Organic Root Stimulator Coconut Oil. That was amazing. I've raved about that already. I'm not gonna rave about it again. If you wanna know how I feel about it, check out my video called, I think it's the day I fell in love with my hair or something like that thumbs up I'll put the link in the box um so yeah that was the second thing the reason why I didn't buy that again is because it's mixed with petroleum petrolatum all them oxide chlorides and whatever that as a natural you don't necessarily want to use um and it's got soybean oil in it I just want 100% coconut oil so this is the biz right now this is the biz the other thing that I love about coconut oil, love about coconut oil, is the fact <laughs> that you can cook with it. Yes, my friends, I've made, I put coconut oil in my rice. I put coconut oil, um, actually, I use coconut oil a lot as the base when I fry things, like gravy. I haven't tried it with stuff like eggs and like, you know, like a, like a full breakfast kind of thing. I haven't tried frying stuff like that. But actually, I might try and fry this with some granary bread that I've got downstairs, so I'm kind of hungry. So I'll see how that tastes. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. And the nutritional information, 900 calories of energy, 92.14 grams of fat, 44.7% of lauric acid, which is excellent. Guys, I will put the link of my shoe butter and coconut oil part two video in this box. That's where I explained everything about coconut oil and I believe I explained a thing or two about lauric acid, so I'm not gonna go into that again. Um, another thing, this is what I mean about the reason why I didn't buy the KCP oil again. As you can see here, it says Soil Association Organic. So this has been certified by a body that it is organic coconut oil. It's packaged in the UK, it's got an ethical award. Um, UK's highest rated ethical producer, the jar can be recycled, excellent, and these are the storage instructions. Once open, store in fridge and consume within six weeks. Now I must admit, I didn't know that when I bought it, I didn't read that when I bought it. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought it because I don't like being, you know, forced to use a product within a certain time, uh, but it is what it is. Especially if I cook with it and use, I'm definitely going to use it to cream my body and all of that. So it may run out anyway it, within that time. But if it doesn't run out within that time, then what I would do is basically make my leave-in conditioner again. Sorry guys. Okay, so this is the first thing I don't like about the product. I don't like products where I have to fight to get into them. It's long, just open. Okay, so this already in comparison to the KCP coconut oil, which I have in my video, 
um, the part two of the shea butter and coconut oil. Check it out. Um, this already has a different consistency. It, oh my god, this smells like coconut. This smells like coconut. And guys, I'm sorry to say, to state the obvious, it's coconut oil. Why wouldn't it smell like coconut? KCP smelled nothing like coconut. This is what I mean by I didn't know whether it was authentic. It smelled nothing like coconut. This smells like coconut. Guys, if you like Bounty chocolate bar, you see that smell you get from Bounty. I'm in love. I think I will renew my wedding vows with organic coconut oil. Um, yes, Redwood, I will marry you. Please believe, this is amazing. No, I'm excited right now. This has made my day. Oh my God, I am excited. I'm sorry if you feel like I'm overreacting, but me and coconut oil go together like spaghetti and meatballs, like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like, oh my gosh. Oh. The consistency is so much different to the first and second coconut oils that I've bought as well. Um, actually, as you can see, the more I do this, the more it gets uh, kind of liquidy. It's melting literally in my hands with the heat on my fingertips. It's creamy, it's easy, breezy, beautiful. Coconut oil. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. This is amazing. I'm going to enjoy using this. I'm definitely going to try it in my rice. Definitely going to try it when I'm frying whatever I'm frying. Um, it's a really big tub as well. I think it's four, yeah, 450 milliliters. I don't know how much that is in ounces or grams or whatever, but it's huge. Um, £8.41 I paid for this. And with the smell alone, I do not mind. Oh, this is great. I am, oh, I am excited. Look at that. Oh, how it just melts away. Lord, please help me because contain my excitement right about now. So guys, I'm gonna let you know how I get on with this coconut oil. Um, because I'm trying out different products as I'm, you know, coming up to my first year of my natural hair anniversary and, and going forward, I'm actually not focusing on this in terms of my hair. I'm actually focused on it, focusing on it in terms of my skin, especially my face. Coconut oil is really good at repairing your skin. Um, so essentially what I'm gonna do is, you know, wash my face with whatever I choose to wash my face with, which actually at this point in time, I'm probably gonna be using olive, extra virgin olive oil as my cleanser, the oil cleanse method. So I'm gonna use that to cleanse my face. Um, and at night, night uh, actually no I'm gonna use this to cleanse my face at night and cream my face in the morning and then I'll use this all over my body as you know a body cream I'll probably scoop some of this out and put it in a different um, container actually because I don't really want to be you know cooking and creaming my body from the same tub um, but I am so pleased with this I thought I'd just reveal it on camera. I didn't know I was going to be so excited. I'm really sorry if you guys are thinking I'm weird right now. But guess what? I don't care because I love coconut oil. And you guys should too. This has even made me kick shea butter to the curb even more. Because that right, sir? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.